Hi everybody. Today I published a new site called pixeldatabase.net that allows you to edit images with text in a language called bitmap query language or bequel for short and it's very similar to SQL or SQL for, for databases. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to pixeldatabase.net and we'll get started. This is pixeldatabase.net. Now I'm already logged in. If you would like to sign up for free, your upload limit is increased from 4 megabytes to 8 megabytes. And then eventually I'm going to have a premium for $10 per year. It goes up to 20 megabytes. And now, first thing I'm going to do is just show you a very simple background removal. Now this background here, I'm going to first turn on the color picker, which, sorry, turn it on. Okay. The color picker here will show you some information about the pixel that you clicked on. Here we have the red, green, and blue value, the alpha, the X value. This here is a combination of green plus red, and this is blue plus green, and this is blue plus red. And then here is the total, which is just the sum of green, or red, green, and blue. And this here is the Y value of where you clicked. And now here, some of these here, this is greater than, less than, equals, which I'm sure you know. But this here is between, and this is pixels, I mean, excuse me, uh, pixels in last update. Now, all of these are clickable. So what I can do here is just say hide pixels where, or if you're ever typing it, you can just type hide. Go to the next line, and you always must go to the next line. So that's kind of the, the new line characters are kind of important in this game, in this program. All right, now I'm going to just say total is less than 50. So I'll click right here and just say total. Ah, there's a little space there. I'll take that line out and just say less than 50. I'll just type it. It's easier. Okay, and that got rid of the black background. I'll go ahead and close that. And just, I could download it here if I wanted to, but I'm going to just go ahead and move on to another one. Okay, and this next one, let's see. This is one... It's a little bit uh, more complicated here. Let's say you have this little kind of little dashboard here, and you want to get rid of the black background. So again, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up a little bit higher though. I've done this one before, and it's got a little bit of glare to it. So, and that gets us down to you know kind of a trans. There's still a little bit of glare, but that's fine. So that was you know basically that was more of the same thing. And I'll show you one more with that exact same query without even changing it much. In this trumpet here, we're going to get rid of the black background again and just hit apply. So it's, you know, it's all same thing. So that's nothing new, but just kind of, that would be difficult for me in paint.net. In Photoshop, it's probably, you just talk to it by now and it says background gone, but I don't know. So next, okay, I'm going to show you a little bit more complicated one. I'm going to open up this one. Okay, now here I'm going to cheat because I've got this written down and I'm getting tired. Okay, and I'm going to just paste in the little query here. Now notice, oh, sorry, that's not, <laughs> that was note for me. <laughs> note to self, don't paste in. Okay, so here's green men difference. Let me turn the color picker on for a second, and I'll show you this. Okay, to explain the green men difference, first you have to know the men, which the men is the minimum of red, green, or blue. In this case, it's 128. So the green men difference is going to be, you subtract, it's the absolute value actually, so it's whichever one is highest, you subtract the lowest, but that's going to be roughly 78, something like, what is that, I don't know, 72 and 15, 87, sorry, I'm kind of tired, normally my brain's pretty good at math. Okay, now here I'm going to just do that and just hit apply. Okay, let me hide the color picker, but there, so that got rid of our background, you know, did a pretty good job of everything, probably not perfect, but it was pretty good for our purposes. Okay, and I'll do one more background removal. This one here is kind of an oranges background. Okay, and again, I'm going to cheat because this one, okay, and I won't take my little note to myself here with it, and I'll paste this in. Okay, and here what we're doing, the red men difference. And again, the same thing, the red men difference, I'll turn the color picker back on so you can see it. The red is going to be 254, and the min is 30, so that's roughly going to be a little over 215, something like that. So here I want the red min difference greater than 180, and just hit apply. 
in there. That did a pretty good job. Now, I set it to black, and I did that because after it's black, it's really easy to do this. That same query we did for all the others. Total less than 50, so. Or like I said, some other background color. But that's a couple of hide examples. Now I'm gonna move on to some swaps. So I'll just do a real simple one. Okay, you click on the swap button. If you click on swap, every time you click on it, it changes, there's only three values. So I'm gonna just swap blue and red here and just hit apply. Okay, now, and if I wanna go to green, red, or you know, there's not, there weren't any green pixels. There, actually, I did a little bit of kind of the, in the window there, so I'm gonna undo that. No, not really. Right. I wanted blue and green. Blue and, there we go. Okay, that's, this is, you know, I know there's lots of uh, ways to change colors, but that changes just specific colors compared to changing all the hues, like on most graphics programs. All right, so I'll go ahead and close that and go to something else. Okay, here, I, I've, this is in the help, but I'll show you this one real quick because it's a pretty easy uh, update query. And this isn't a swap, but I'm kind of skipping ahead. So I'll just say set adjust green, red, minus 240. And now what that does is that's going to subtract 240 from the value for green and red. Now red will still have a little bit, but green will be, it can't go below zero. So once it gets to zero, that's as low as it goes. And I'll just hit apply. Okay, so once you take out the green and red, you're left with mostly blue. So that's our little blue banana. Okay, and I'll close that. I'll just, that was an easy one to do because I, I know that one. And I'll show you, let's see, let me find another one. This is, this is one that I kind of like here. Um, this is a hide. I don't think I showed this one yet. This is a hide that I, this is how I built this right here. Um, I'll just say hide pixels where min max difference is less than 30. And that's not perfect. It kind of, I had to do a little bit of touch up to kind of this stuff, but that's how I made this and changed all the colors. So go ahead and close that. And I will go on to, this is a real easy swap. It's a pretty big image, but I'll just, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, hit swap. And here I just want to swap out the blue and the red. Okay, and I've got some ways to, uh, I've got one of the help has a way to get rid of this background, but I'm not going to show you that in this one. And let's see, let me go over to, here's a adjust color example. I'm going to click on my little domino picture here. Okay, here what I want to do, I want to just change the white part of the dominoes to be, I'll go with some color, like uh, we'll go with uh, update, set color, we'll go with purple, where, and we're going to do total greater than 700 because white is 765, so it should be a pretty bright, let's see how that does. Okay. That was, I don't really like that color purple on there, so I might go back and uh, do another color like, uh, we'll go with, let's see what green. We'll do a forest green. Let's just see. Okay, so that changes all the white pixels in the image all at once, so that's uh, pretty simple. All right, now we'll go over here, and let's see. Okay, and then here's one that I was kind of, I can just show you this briefly. I didn't really get this looking the way I wanted, but it looks okay, so I'll go ahead and show you. That, that again, that min-max difference, which is just, uh, and I'm going to say between, I'm going to say update, set color, I'll go with orange, just so you can kind of see it real obvious, where min-max difference, oh, I don't remember what this was, between, we'll just do something in, there's a lot of trial and error to this, so. Okay, very wrong. And I'll tell you why that didn't work. I left out the where clause. So if you don't say the where, it does everything. No pixels found. Okay. Greater than 30. There. That's what I was trying to do. But let's undo that. And I'll do about, oh, 21. Let's see. That's weird. 
I was trying to do less. And that did the other way then. 36. Let's see. Okay, so there it did mostly, you know, in the little uh, orange boxes and a little bit on the wall. And then I could, uh, if I wanted to, here's an easy way I could change that all at once. I could just say set color and I'll do midnight blue where, and I happen to know that orange is 420, so I'll just say where total between 410 and 430. Okay, and that was, that's just a way to, you know, not the really thing I'd really like there, but okay, so I'll go ahead and close that. And I'll go to my last one, and this is, I'll do this one here. Okay, here what I want to do, I want to replace out the sugar text and make it blue. So let's just see if we can do an update. And we'll do a swap for this. So we're going to swap out, we want to swap out red and blue. Okay. And then now we want to say, let me get the value for red. Okay. These are about 241 is the total. 200, the bright ones, 333. So we'll just say total. Okay. Where total between 200 and about 360. Okay, now I want to show you one other thing that I like to do sometimes in case you want to get this black background. It's kind of, it's black, but it's got a lot of, you know, not that dark of a black. If you ever wanted to go make this entire black ground, you can just say update, set color black, where total less than 100. Hide the color picker just so you can see. Okay, that wasn't enough, so we're going to say total less than 150. See what that looks like. And we'll go a little higher, 168. Okay, that's fine. Looks like, looks like a little bit of uh, sugar spilled over there. Okay, all right. Well, that's all I'm going to show in this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and, you know, let me know what Photoshop. If you happen to be a Photoshop user, let me know how you do it. some of these things. I'm sure they have ways of doing it. I just don't want to, I can't justify paying a monthly fee. All right, well, thanks for watching and have a good evening.